The Million Dollar Motorcycle. If you had a million dollars to spend on a bike, you still couldn't buy this machine because it is truly priceless. All the top bike manufacturers exercise their abundant resources to propel product development, clamoring for an edge in the marketplace and on the racetrack. Meanwhile, New Zealand's golden boy John Britton used his spare time to hand make this machine in his garage. He took a huge leap with an experimental building material called carbon fiber. He fashioned all of the bike's main components out of it with exception to the engine which he cast out of aluminum. The engine being the central component of the machine serves as the main chassis. There is no frame. All of the bike's suspension elements mount directly to it. The rear swing arm pivots off the back using an underslung tension rod to transfer force to the front of the engine where the rear shock resides. The carbon fiber front wheel and fork are suspended on parallel wishbones. I sadly didn't think to study the head column in my limited time with Britain's masterpiece. One week after completion, the bike met its first racetrack in Daytona Beach, Florida. No time for testing and tuning, just hit the track with everything they've got. They were able to qualify on the first day, but cracked a cylinder sleeve in the process. Unable to find a replacement, they worked through the night repairing the old one and got the bike pieced back together just in time to grid up for the 200 mile race. When the flag dropped, the bike leapt through the field from 12th position into 2nd, where the rider held fast but brashly demonstrated to the race leader that he could take him at any time. Really want to ride this thing. So I did! Here I come in my pink leathers in the front half of this pack of... Britons? I can't believe this! This thing is awesome! I've got to borrow a million dollars and make it mine! Just kidding, that wasn't me. I don't know the right people to ride one of these things. Oh, here come the right people now. George W. Barber driving one of his mini Porsches with Mrs. Britton in the passenger seat, not really a seat, on his car waving at people because she's a celebrity. <laughs> 